I wake up, uh, say my auditions at nine or 10. I get up three hours before that, no matter what. Um, the first hour is just trying to actually wake up, <laughs> you know, eat, drink some coffee. Then the second hour is, all right, so my audition today, uh, you know, making sure I have my shoes and, you know, different out outfit changes because you never know what they might want at the audition, um, printing out your headshot. So I'm like running to FedEx, you know, make sure I have the headshot, make sure the resume is updated, um, get to the audition building. Um, I'm early because I want to warm up in the space. Um, also, I like to center myself. You have to get there early to do that before everyone's in there and it's kind of busy. Um, so you sign into the audition table. I sit down. I, I put on my music. I have some certain playlists that kind of help me activate. Then about 10 minutes before... Use the restroom, get dressed, um, do the audition. Auditions are very crazy and you never know what you're gonna get. So usually they teach you the combination, you're in the mirror, you're looking at them, trying to make sure you have the details depending on how short or long. And there's two different groups, you go in your groups. Let's say um, I move on to the next um, part of the audition. So then I sit, I wait, and they say, okay, let's hear you sing. So I had to make sure I have my book, my singing book um, out. And I sing, and then they say, okay, we'll get back to you or not, right? So I leave, then I'm going to another building in a different borough for an acting audition. Um, so I show up, there's sides there, so I pick up a piece of paper, try to memorize the sides, and say I have 15 minutes to do so. And then I go in there, you slate your name, and then they, you know, you're done. Um, after that, I'm, I head home to cook, because I want to save money. <laughs> Uh, I have about an hour to do so. So I, um, you know, try to just do it as fast as I can, have a moment to regroup. I'm teaching in Jersey. So then I have to go all the way to Penn Station, take a train, teach four classes back to back, ballet classes, different ages. So um, I also get there early so I can be able to um, look at my curriculum, make sure the music is right. There's all these different things when you're teaching children. You just have to make sure. Um, lyrics and songs, check that. So I teach the four classes and then I get dropped back off um, at the train station, come back to New Jersey. It might be midnight and then I ride the subway home. It takes me a moment to relax after doing all that all day. You know, so for me, relaxing is kind of putting on Netflix and just like not really thinking about dance because you need that time to just be away. So I might get some like sleepy time tea or and just relax and watch Netflix until I fall asleep.